Welcome to Old Cottage. Right, there's been a lot of trees blowing down during the night and I've had to cut some. Got to try and get this chainsaw going. Why don't they have a push button on the battery just to start it like this? My arms are killing me. I'll have another go. Anyway, I'm not here to talk about the trees falling down. I want Monty to give me a few tips on my vegetable garden. Come and have a look at this. Right, welcome to Oak Cottage. <laughs> uh, right, this is my vegetable plot. As you can see, it's, uh, I planted some potatoes in there the same time as Monty planted his. Right, and I'm just trying to work out which is the best. I've got a problem. Take a look at this. Oh, oh. This is the problem, look. Something's eating them. There's holes. Full of holes. And little slugs inside eating them. All my potatoes have got slug holes in. You can see. So Monty, how do I do get rid of the slugs out of the ground? But, I don't like killing things, but I've got to kill these snails some way. They're eating everything I put down. Give us a clue. Okay, let's have a look at the beans. Right, I planted loads of beans the same time as you were planting yours, Monty. And uh, this was all clear. And, and the, the snails or the slugs started eating them when they were about two or three inches high. So I used to stay up all night killing them, hitting them with hammers and everything. Because you only come out of a night. And a mate of mine said, put some beer down. So I put loads of beer down and went to bed. And they kept me up all night singing. <laughs> These are the beans that I'm getting out. They're only small, but there's some later on they'll be bigger beans. Right? And I put them in the greenhouse and they dry and I use them next year. Is that the right thing to do? Or should I go to the garden centre and buy some packets? Give us a clue, Monty. Let's go and have a look at the beetroot. Right, when this was all clear, when you were planting your stuff, Monty, on Gardener's World, I planted it the same, right? I tried to copy it. The beans have gone over, so they haven't done right. And I planted some beetroot here, right? Your beetroot are like that. Massive. My beetroot are like that. And they've been in the same time as yours. Right? There yeah, is a big one. Way! Look at that. But that's what I usually get. Hundreds of them and two of them. Monty, give us a clue. Okay, and now to the courgettes. Look at that! Brilliant! The only trouble is, the flower is on the end and there's all these maggots. See the maggots there? They're all moving. They're eating before I get to them. Because I don't know whether you've got to take the flower off or what. But see, it's all rotted, and that's all I get. I'll be courgettes. That's the best one this year. When I look at yours, I can't believe it. Give us a clue, Monty. And now to the French beans. Right, Monty, I planted these French beans the same time as you planted yours. <laughs> and look at mine. Mm. 
something's eating them before I get there. Right, I don't know what it is, but they look like maggots or snails. Right. There's a bean. There's a bean, but something's at it, look. I think I got four beans out of this crop. There's the plant. No bean. Oh! A bean. And it hasn't been eaten. That's for me tea tonight. <laughs> what do you think? Give us a clue, Monty. And now to the greenhouse. Follow me. windows there and uh, as you can see it's uh, it's warm in here considering there's no grass in some of the places. Uh, that, that fell in for some reason I don't know why and uh, a tree fell and knocked that down so I've ordered some more gla glass but it hasn't come yet my mate's bringing it next week but uh, it's two years too late so this is it I planted, and I saw, at the same time as you did, I planted 20 tomato plants in here. Right, and I've only got one. Now, we're into September now, and I haven't got a red one on there yet. So, did I plant them too late, or too early, or, or what? Monty, give us a clue. Okay. That's the greenhouse. That's the shed. Could do with a lick of paint. So let's go and have a look at the uh, compost heap. Yes. And that's my wheelbarrow. Now let's have a look at the pond. My garden furniture. Sometimes I just sit here and watch the ducks. I love wildlife. I see ducks, there's mallards and there's uh, water ends and coots. Coots are on here. Now sometimes I just sit here. Sometimes I sit here. That's broken that, isn't it? I think I need a visit to the garden centre. So uh, let's have a look at the problems I have in the pond. Do you know what? I love wildlife. And uh, as I say, I see a lot of uh, wildlife on this pond. It's a bit secluded, which is nice. The only trouble is it gets overgrown with all this green stuff here. Uh, I think they're called lilies. Anyway, I'd like to see more of the pond, so I've got to dig all these out. and. It it my arms and all that. So uh, how do I stop that from growing? I've been digging them out by hand. And it, it's hard to do. I get it. Get in there like that. I, I usually have a pair of wellies on when I'm doing this. I know you've got one of them pair of trousers with legs in. I haven't got them. Every year, there's thousands of them. And that's just a handful. Look at that. I'm trying to get it all clear. I won't have to try and get all this out. What can I do? Monty, give us a clue. Something's... <laughs> Something snapping it. <laughs> Whoa! Fucking made it, boy. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> now you don't have to tell me anything about that, Monty. I'd like to see you do that. <laughs> Thanks for listening to me today. I hope this gives you get a bit of fun from this. See you soon. Cheers, Monty, and the team. <laughs>